this is the bank, and this is what we use for the bank game. And this extension of the first tray, which was the beads, unit 10, 100,000, you take out this whole bank with the beads and everything. Um, pretend that's not there. And they take out one of these trays, which is what they also use in the bank game. And we talk about it. We talk about all these units in here and all these tens. And a lot of times I'll bring over that tray because we have to make a comparison because I now I have to show them that this is a hundred. And we talk about how the beads are heavy and beautiful and very expensive. So we, we translate it into these to make a hundred. And that our thousands are a little bit different now too. Which doesn't take much for them to understand either. And then we play games with these. You know, can you count four units into your dish? And then we count them together with the language. One unit, two unit, three units, four units. Um, and I won't, you know, you understand what I mean. We just, all kinds of different amounts over and over and over again. Um, if they're having trouble with it, we might do it another day and get two rubs. <coughs> and I'd say, well, get me a hundred or switch around and have them, me give them the numbers, you know, that kind of thing. So, um, the extension of the card material that we did over there sometimes takes a little bit more getting used to for them because it goes... <clears throat> Sorry. Um, oh, and that's lovely. Somebody put these away. <laughs> Who did that? Um, anyhow, we go through these and we talk about what one through nine are, and they know those. So then we'll spread those out on the rug. And a little, you know, all, I'm going to do it messy, but we would spread those out really nicely over there. And then we would talk about this. They know this is ten, but we say one, ten, right? And two tens and go through this whole pile and make sure they get that. Same thing with the hundreds. Eight hundreds, nine hundreds. All in their categories but all mixed up. And then do the same sort of thing that we did with the beads. Talking, you know, can you hand me two tens? Can you hand me eight hundreds? Can you hand me da 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 da. The whole thing. Going through all of them. Which you would think was really tedious, but it's the best thing in the whole wide world. They think it's the coolest thing they've ever done. And uh, the bank game is a huge for children when they get to the bank. Oh they're yeah, they're just at there. Really. Yeah, yeah. That's so special. and they know that they're getting ready for that. So <laughs> this is all. They're never unhappy to prepare for something super cool. So anyhow, we get through all this, and then you know uh, to extend this. Sometimes it's hard for them to differentiate between the hundreds and the thousands because that is the new concept, really, with the numbers anyhow. So, you know, we can do it over and over and over or, you know, and then at some point I'll be able to ask them and go through, what's this, what's this, what's this? Sometimes it comes pretty quick, sometimes it takes a while. Either way is okay. <laughs> um, once they are comfortable with both the symbol and the quantity. We come over here, and this is called the formation of numbers. One rug would be over here, and one would be far across the room. And it's basically just putting them both together. In the math area is a pattern. We talk about quantity, we talk about symbols, and then we put quantity and symbol together. So this is where we put quantity and symbol together. To start, it would be me giving them this and asking them to go fetch that from that rug. Now, I will tell you, this. I set this up for you, but part of this lesson is learning how to set this up because this is how you learn how to set up your house for the banking. Um, but, you know, it's, it takes a long time to set that up. It's, it's quite a bit of work, and this is no, you know, it's, it's a good amount of time doing this. So anyway, we start with this, and we would do one category by, at a time, and what I mean by that is, you know, units are a category, tens are a category, hundreds are a category, thousands. And then we would start playing with giving you two categories at a time, then three, then four. There's, we would do it bringing the beads to the cards and also bringing the cards to the beads. So this is several days, several times, until you're really solid in it. So do you only give them one block or do you give them like 444? Well, first like I would give them one. You know, I'd give them this and then they'd get it and come back and whatever and then I'd give them this and then they'd get it and come back. And and then, I'd, you know, we'd practice one day just doing one at a time. And then, you know, the next time we did it, we'd probably do the beads one at a time. And then the next time we did it, I'd give them two at a time. Or two at a time, you know, mm -hmm. with the cards. 
then with the beats, and then three with cards, then with the beats. But that would, those would be different dates. It would be three with right. the cards, then right. the next day, three with the beats. And it's not always going to be the next day either. But honestly, that's good. It gives them time to internalize that. And a lot of times there's other children that are doing it, and they get to watch them do it too, and keep going like that. Any other questions so far? Can I help you guys? One more. Yeah. Okay. I know you do adding games on the sheets. Do you ever do adding with those two later? Or do you keep that on a in a separate? Yeah. Lesson? This is what gets us to the collective exercises, which is the bank game. The bank game does all four operations in math and it is their first impression of addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. From there comes the higher math, even higher, higher math, to where they start with pen and paper and, excuse me, pencil and paper, and uh, equations and that kind of thing, because that's sort of getting towards the passage to abstraction, which is, you know, elementary work. Once they have mastered this and they can do it very easily, which doesn't usually take very long, part of this is also uh, a lesson in maturity and ability to go away from me and come back. <laughs> you know, um, you know. can you go get this and not sit in all the beads and make them go everywhere and, you know, you know, well, but seriously, and if you can't, then we put it away and we try again, because if you can't do that, then you certainly can't play the bank game. It's a, it's, it's an, it's a test in maturity and will and patience, that kind of thing too. So once they're all good with this, then they're ready for the bank game.